Yet again, welcome to another episode of Live Wire Film Reviews. It's Peter Mann. What's up, y'all? And today I'm going to be reviewing The Killing of a Sacred Deer. The film centers on a surgeon named Steven as he befriends a boy named Martin. The two have this weird close bond with one another, but when he introduces them to his family, Steven wants to distance himself away from Martin. And when Martin feels that he's being ignored, he takes the matter into his hands and threatens not only Steven, but Steven's family. The pros of this film happens to be the direction. Yorgos Lanthimos is another skilled director at his helm he's done just a few films as of late the lobster was one film that was complex and daring uh, i really love that film this is another film in a direction where it's a little bit more macabre a little bit more disturbing and it's just involved uh, again as a audience member you're really glued to this film the events are disturbing but it's supposed to be again this is a director where he is not afraid to put it in your face and just get under your skin this is on purpose. Again, this film is not for the faint of heart. Maybe corny to say, but again, it's honest. Not for the faint of heart. Do not go in this film thinking that it's just your regular psychological thriller. It's much more than that. The drama in this film, it just ups the ante. Again, the psychological thriller aspects ups the ante. Again, this film just loves to just jump to that next level. And you really don't see it coming. And when it does, you're just it's very divisive. You're either going to love this film or you're going to love the film or you're going to downright hate the film and the thematic elements that, that occurs. The cast is exceptional. They're superb. Again, I don't know why Colin Farrell has not been nominated or at least won a Golden Globe. He should be nominated for this film as the Surgeon Steven. He feels the threat from Martin played by Barry Keegan. Again, this is a young actor from Dunkirk. Again, I really liked him in that film, but this film, he stands out. He is scary. He is threatening, but it's so subtle. You just, again, don't see it coming. This film deals with the heavy. It deals with the macabre. It gets under your skin. And that's where the film just blossoms and shines. I think that Nicole Kidman as his wife also has a lot to do. The kids, the son and the daughter, also very good characters. And surprisingly, Alicia Silverstone makes somewhat of a cameo as uh, Martin's mother. Again, someone that's disturbed. Really would have liked to see her character more involved in the film. You know, just the background between her and Martin. You really don't get that you really want to explore that but again she is great in the one scene that she has in this film this is a director that deals with the complex it's in your face it's disturbing and you definitely want to see a light-hearted disney film after you get out of the theater especially what happens at the end of the film i think this is a masterwork i just felt like it's very purposely divisive really there's a stamp that is just like this i really want you to be disturbed not saying that it's forced but again it's going to divide a lot of audience members i like when when directors do this in the vein of mother i just felt like maybe it was too much too fast i'm gonna have to give this a strong four and a half stars and one of the best films of the year but again one of the most disturbing films of the year as well so go with caution this is peter man what's up check out our reviews by clicking on the links above as well as our in-depth podcast reviews be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to have yourself a wonderful day this is livewire